sometimes same-sex couples need to decide whether one or the other partner or both will be biological fathers. And that can be based on personal preferences, that can be based on medical reasons. So an evaluation of relative fertility and FDA evaluation for infectious diseases and assessment of other risk factors all become important in that process. Most of the time, at least in my practice, a same-sex couple will elect to be both biological fathers and the laboratory situation becomes one of choosing an egg donor, splitting the eggs in usually half so that each man might have access to, for example, eight to 10 eggs to fertilize. And then in parallel, the eggs are fertilized, the embryos are developed, and then ultimately the best graded, highest grade embryo from each of the two men can be transferred, assuming this couple is comfortable with a two embryo transfer. Some people, for many reasons, don't want twins or are nervous about twins or choose, to, uh, break, or choose to elect strategies to minimize the risk of twins. And that's when we do a single embryo transfer, which again, back to choice and control, the choice then has to be made which embryo is put in and which genetics will dictate in the first pregnancy. And then if there is a sibling journey down the road, more often than not, the embryos from the other partner will be used and twins will not have happened, but two children, maybe two or three years apart.